I wish we lived in a world where there was no such thing as a car crash. Unfortunately, we don't. When accidents happen, we have emergency medical technicians to save us. If you're in a situation that requires an EMT, you want a trained professional. The question is, how should this professional be trained? Must it be through the state? Or could the private sector certify EMTs even better? Over 1,000 occupations require state-issued licenses prior to employment under the justification that these licensing requirements protect public safety. Unfortunately, industry veterans use government licensing to block new entries into their fields and to make more money. For one, cosmetologists use licensing to block hair braiders from working in their own salons. Asheria Bell is one of these hair braiders who was suppressed by Iowa's unreasonable licensing laws. Asheria, the eldest of 12 siblings, learned to braid hair at three years old. By age 16, she was braiding hair in her mom's salon while being paid in secret because she didn't have a government cosmetology license. Later, Asheria began college to study business, but her plans changed after having a child. She dropped out of college to braid hair, but had to acquire a government cosmetology license. Obtaining this license in Iowa would cost $22,000 and 2,100 hours of training. After eight months in cosmetology school, she realized none of this training even covered hair braiding. As a single mom, she could not afford the time and the money required for this license. Simply put, occupational licensing regulations prevented a single mom, an honest, hardworking hair braiding professional from supporting her own family. The Institute for Justice teamed with Asheria and another hair braider to fight for victims of oppressive licensing laws. They assisted Asheria in filing a civil lawsuit against Iowa's Cosmetology Board, attempting to exempt hair braiders from the cosmetology license. Today, thanks to the actions of Asheria Bell, Iowa's residents can braid hair to support their families without spending $22,000 on government mandated training. We all want to hire well-trained professionals in their respective fields, but the licensing requirements shouldn't be so arduous that people are unable to acquire them. Prices are artificially raised, access declines, and people who could be working go unemployed. Whether hair braiding or a host of other occupational licensing, it's time to free up the economy, empower people who want to work, and let the customer decide, not the government.